Hi everyone, I'm here in Philadelphia and I'm looking at the Philadelphia Orchard Project. And today I'm at the Learning Orchard in Woodlands Park in West Philadelphia. So the Philadelphia Orchard Project, or POP as it's called, is a not-for-profit community group that facilitates orchards for other community groups throughout the city. And so to date they've supported 67 community orchards throughout Philadelphia. And so this is their headquartered, headquartered orchard, which is a learning orchard. So let's go in and take a look. And today being a Thursday, it's a work day. And the team is working away with harvesting and sorting and watering, all the usual things you find in these sorts of spaces that need to be done. This orchard is interesting. It's in that it's sort of evolving into an alley cropping agroforestry system. So you'll see rows of different vegetables, in this case beans, as well as the fruit trees, with crops below them. So it's like bush beans, Figs, climbing beans, squatters or pumpkins. We have to get it by the sprinkler. And yeah, so a different way of doing a food forest, an agroforestry <coughs> sort of setup using aloe cropping, alley cropping. Oh, I love this row of okra. Okay, so here we've got some chard under a young apple tree. So it can be quite a productive way uh, of getting um, produce, an efficient way I should say of getting produce within a sustainable agroforestry. So I've just found Phil Forsyth in the garden. Uh, Phil is one of the key people here at POP. And I just want to ask Phil, what's the reasoning behind using this alley cropping type system within the orchard? Sure, this um, wasn't actually the original plan, but we happened to start our headquarters orchard here, the Pop Learning Orchard, um, in 2020, the year of the pandemic. And there was a much increased need for uh, food in the community, uh, so we decided to while the trees were young and not casting much shade, grow as much um, annual vegetable crops as we could in the space. So the first year it started with the, you know, we planted the trees and used those, those tree rows um, to grow a lot of annual crops. And then the, the year after that, we added these um, rows in between the tree rows. Um, and over time, we're gonna be transitioning the tree rows into uh, a food forest, essentially. And we've, started to do that on, on some of the shadier parts of the mm, site. Mm. Um, so perennial companion plants, including some edibles, medicinals as well. Um, but we should be able to, you know, continue to have enough light to grow annual crops in the in-between rows for a few more years at least. Um, but uh, that, that's the idea is basically to grow as much food as we can in, in the meantime and over time transition to more 
fruit in the canopy from the, the, the woody plants. Great. Thanks, Phil. Sure.